I want to show everybody me and Hunter this is our second day but this is the the river track that we're running see all the lights it's early this morning but it's sure pretty out there good morning everybody it's shit it's a little bit before seven here in Casper Wyoming and Hunter and myself we're gonna go for our second morning run right <laughs> day two of our early morning runs and I want to I want to share some things with you guys um, something that <clears throat> you see people that are successful in life and things that they do um, like just becomes a habit right it's just natural for them um, to be just a little bit step above one thing that I really appreciate about Hunter is we uh, set this time to run every morning and he's here yesterday you, you were what 20 minutes early yeah today was 10 minutes early so every day <clears throat> or maybe shoot, you probably know 20 minutes today because I got here at 10 minutes early so anyway he's always here before I am and and that's that's a true mark of somebody that's successful you never wait till the last minute to get to where you're going you always want to be a little bit early you know that way if if you're going for a job interview you can always reset you know if you have to last minute or whatever um, but it's just you know about being that little step better than everybody else so one thing that we're working on a lot here from now on and we started this morning really kind of got a little bit more in depth um, is conquering our mornings and when I talk about that like it's very important that you get up in the morning you're motivated and you conquer your morning do something physical move on because it's going to carry through the rest of your day um, this is something that every billionaire in the world every top businessman in the world athlete you name it this is how they start their day you want to be successful you want to be the best at whatever you're doing you need to get up in the morning and really conquer that day um, one of the things that I that I do is I'll get on um, I always start my day I prioritize my day in a certain way on purpose um, number one I wake up in the morning and I spend a good 30 minutes to an hour with God every day I read through the Bible I give thanks um, for everything that I'm thankful for um, and that really just puts me in a very positive mindset, you know, gives me in a platform where um, I'm doing things, you know, not just for myself, but everything around me. And that really makes me feel good. Second thing is do something for my friends and family. So um, it could be a phone call. It could be a text message. It could be cooking breakfast it doesn't matter but I always do something for my friends and family and then the next one something physical right build those endorphins get feeling good about yourself get motivated get going and then the last one that's my occupation job whatever and I never put much precedent on the occupation because if the top three aren't in order it doesn't really matter what you're doing in life you're just not going to be fulfilled and you probably won't have the success that you're always looking for so that's that's kind of the reason why people always start looking try to look over you know the grass is greener on the other side of the fence is because they're they haven't learned to really conquer their mornings empower themselves and find their true you know happiness their walk so that's what we went over this morning and one way that that I build people into training is when we get up in the morning to get motivated I'll go through YouTube and I'll find some motivational stuff, you know, one, you know, five minute video, 10 minute video, anything that talks about, you know, conquering your day. You talk, anything that talks about empowering yourself, your mind, um, you know, your gratitude list, like any of those things. So that's what I did with Hunter this morning. I sent you two, right? Yeah. One was, one was about, you know, being grateful, all that stuff and positive. And then the other one was the warrior. Yeah. And that one was pretty good. So motivation, you know, anybody, there's there's a lot of platforms out there that we can lean on to help us get to where we want to go. And there's nothing wrong with with utilizing the sources that we have available. I mean, that's, that's something about looking outside the box and being more. Um, coming into Hunter's bareback season, today is the first bucking horse practice, right? Yeah. So tell everybody a little bit like, your mindset this is your first practice really of the year you know you've been going to rodeos and stuff but what what do you want to see out of your performance tonight in practice well what we've been working on mostly yeah like <laughs> mainly free is what I'm gonna try to focus on the most cool and like we talked about yesterday when we had the spur board we write it the first time like we're going for first you know <clears throat> and that especially runs true with with our practice sessions in the in the fairgrounds you know when you're up here practicing so your mindset coming into 
your the horse that you're getting on the first horse of practice tonight or this afternoon what <clears throat> what are your thoughts on that like where are you gonna what frame of mind are you gonna put yourself in and what are you gonna be going over I'm just excited just like I would be if I was going to a rodeo it's I don't know, I'm pretty ready I think yeah just excited <laughs> I like that well and one thing that guys that I want I want to tell you and when you're going when you're at a rodeo like Hunter's saying I'm just excited to be there I'm going to rodeo notice that he's not thinking well I need to mark a horse out strong I need to have this that way I need to do this that way and this that way the first horse he's going to get on like he's winning a world title okay and that means that he's just going for first he's not thinking about things that he has to do riding wise things he needs to critique fix all that stuff he's gonna go for first on a, the very first horse he has do everything is energetic is I mean balls to the walls as he can get then he's gonna get off look at the film figure out what he needs to work on and then he will get on until that's fixed so it's not a one horse deal or a two horse it might be 20 <laughs> you know not not realistically but you, you see what I'm saying like he's going to get on until he fixes what um, what he wants to work on and that's that's the important part about getting on bucking horses if you're not getting on practice horses then guys like this are gonna whoop your tail I mean that's just the honest truth and you know everybody makes a lot of excuse I don't want to get sore I don't want to be hurt I don't come on man you gotta toughen up this is a this is bareback riding this isn't you know a sport where you know roller skating or something that's just fun and easy like you got to work at it number one and number two your mind has got to be tough if you allow yourself to ever be weak to ever think things like that you're already beat man that's the honest truth so build yourself up get tough get out there practice your ass off work your butt off and win be successful watch this guy i'm telling you when we get going down the road um we're training while he's rodeoing for college while he's pro rodeoing um he's putting the effort in he's putting the work in and he will be successful so anyway we're gonna get out there and do our run it is 27 degrees outside it's about 10 degrees warmer day it's hot hot today so we're gonna go out there and bust our morning run same as yesterday just a quick uh, uh aerobic activity jogging you know the difference between anaerobic aerobic is we're you know we're going to take about 10 or 15 minutes to get our heart rate up get that blood flow oxidize everything get loose and then when we're done running that's pretty much our workouts over aerobics the opposite that's where your heart rate goes up really quick comes down goes up really quick comes down when you're done with that workout you still re see results for the rest of the day so if you're out there wanting to lose weight see some massive results um, you need to do, be doing anaerobic activity but you need to do both for sure anaerobic anaerobic activities is your your butt kicker workouts they hard they suck and build your mental positivity all that stuff your mental toughness so anyway I think we're gonna leave you with that we're gonna go run it out and then uh, Hunter's gonna practice today We'll probably get some videos of that and then see what we need to work on the spur board and and go from there and that's that's the chain of uh of practice for us as we we have stuff that we want to work on watch our films get rid of them spur board spur board spur board until it's absolutely perfect then we go from there to saddle horse shoot ethic etiquette whatever then we get on practice horses every once in a while we'll use the bucket machine but not very not very often it's just it's not a tool that that causes great habits it's something we can work on timing but the more you're on a buck machine yeah it's not not that great so anyway um that's how we're gonna roll so all right guys we'll see you down the road <clears throat> every morning i think for the next couple of weeks we'll be up here at, by the golf course three crowns golf course running the river so you're all welcome to join us seven o'clock sharp we're running talk to you later have a good day